Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Emma, this is Destination FBA. So over the past few months, I've been sharing my own journey and some of the softwares I use within my business. So we've spoken previously about Buybot Pro, but today I want to take you on a walk through their mobile app, which is Buybot Go. So Buybot Pro is a deal analyzing software and it just makes the whole process of sourcing and analyzing your deals so much easier. It saves such a huge amount of time. It just helps you make an informed decision on whether or not you're going to make that purchase. Now I would say if you're new to selling on Amazon you haven't yet decided what software you're going to use, this is one piece of software that I could not manage without. It doesn't matter if you're a new seller or an experienced seller, this software is suitable for everybody. So the mobile app comes free within your subscription to Buybot Pro and it was created just so you could still analyse all those deals on the go when you're doing retail arbitrage. Now whilst you can use the Amazon seller app, Buybot Pro gives you far more detailed information, it gives you all the historical data sheets as well that will really help you to make an informed decision. This just helps to make sure you're only buying profitable deals. So you can download this for free on iOS or Android so long as you've got that Buybot Pro subscription. But for me, this makes it more than pay for itself as I do so much retail arbitrage. In just one scan, Buybot Go offers you so much information. So what I'm gonna do now is just open up the app, scan an item, and I'll show you all the different information that it provides us with. So I've opened up Buybot Go, and I'm just going to scan this item I've got just here. And enter a buy price of eight pounds and then analyze the deal so we see straight away we've got the bsr rated at the top here profit margin the break-even price any discounts the total profit the return on investment the bsr percentage the total costs and then the maximum sold price now if we scroll down just here we can change this buy price if we want to and then reanalyze and we also have these toggles for EFN, and you can see that all these prices at the top change. And we have manually fulfilled. And then we've got the same again for bundle, small and light. Now if we scroll to this section here where it says discount, and we put for example 10%, and then we analyze the deal, we can see at the top here, it's given us the 10% discount, so it's automatically taken off the 80 pence. And then we can turn that off again. Now you've got lots of different discounts, so you've got 5%, buy one get one free, buy one get one half price. And then you have this IP alert, which is really handy. If it's red, stay away from it altogether. If it's amber, you need to do more due diligence. And if it's green, you should be okay. Um, we have this buy but go score just here, so it's confidence score, it's 70.94% and we've got our estimated sales in the middle. So previous 90 days is 17. The predicted next 30 days is five, and predicted 90 days is 18. Now in this next section, can I sell this? So we can see that it's not a hazmat item, and it's not dangerous goods, but I'm not currently eligible to sell. So what we can do is click this ungate button, and if it can auto ungate us, then it will. Right, so for this item it has been rejected, so I would need to go through the whole ungating process of sending invoices and things into Amazon. But that is a really handy feature, it's quite a new feature and it's really, really helpful. So if we then go down, we've got oversize, it lets us know if Amazon are on the listing, if they show the buy box, and if it's a multiple item. Now we can also save to PPP, so we can save that directly into the PPP app, or we can export to Google Sheets as well. Now this return on investment, same as on desktop, it just gives you an idea if you want to have say 20% ROI for example, you'd need to set our price of £17.35. And then at the bottom here we have these charts. So this is the historical data charts, again same as you've got on desktop, and you can change this through from 7 days, 30 days, 60 days, so forth, all the way through to the data for all time. And again, you can toggle all of these on and off at the bottom. So if we want to turn off Lois New, FBM, sometimes just makes it a little bit easier to see the rest of the data. And another quite new feature at the top here is the buy box statistics. So we can actually see for in the last 30 days, who has held the buy box, what percentage of the buy box they've won. And again, we can go through all time. This just helps give us an idea if that buy box is being shared and um, especially if Amazon are on the listing as well. So we can click anywhere along here and we can have all that information broken down a little bit further. Now if we then go to our analysis, this is all the competition analysis here. So we can see the seller position, we can see if they're manually fulfilled, if it's Amazon, if it's FBA or MF Prime. 
We can see the total seller stock, the number of prime sellers and the number of manually fulfilled sellers. Now we also have this history section so we can go into here and we can see all the items that we have recently analysed. And if we wanted to go back into any one of these we can just click show on main screen and we can see all of these details again. So anything you have scanned will stay in that history. At the top here we have all our different marketplaces. You can also click and see the items that you've actually purchased. And then again, all the way at the bottom here, we've got this queue option. So this is for if you're in a shop and you don't have any signal. And what you can do is scan the item. So we'll just scan this again. And we can put in the buy price. So again, let's put eight pounds. We can take a photo. And then we can just add this to the queue. So you can see that all of these have been added to the queue and we can just go and sync queue as soon as we've got a signal and we can analyse all of those deals. So I don't do any retail arbitrage without this app now. The historical data sheets and that competition analysis are a really important part of analysing for me. So if you're not already using Bybook Pro, I would 100% recommend you give it a go. And if you're using it and you didn't realise there was a mobile app, get it downloaded and see what you're missing. So as I said before, this is available on Android and iOS, and you saw just how much information we could get from there. So this for me is the easiest way to do retail arbitrage. So I hope that's just helped show you the features and why I love using this software so much when it comes to retail arbitrage. The features are being added to all the time, so I would say if you ever have any suggestions, it's always worth dropping the team a message. The customer service is second to none, I just think it's an all around great software. Now if you have any questions or comments, please do let me know and jump in our Facebook group, pop a message below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But for now, thank you for watching, I hope this has helped and I'll hopefully see you soon. Bye bye.